time though. Hello guys, welcome to the channel for now. We saw the channel that brings you the best of the best sporting analysis, fans reaction, preview and reviews, transfer rumors and transfer gossip. Today we are going to talk about Arsenal Luton. We just finished the match, the match and the two nil in favor of Arsenal. I'll be taking the fans reaction. How do? My bro, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. Let's see how pumped up. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. I My boy is delivered. Oh, they delivered. And two zero, and that will happen. Two zero. Are you are, are you not saying that two zero is too small for what? The little side missing about eleven to ten. It players. doesn't. It doesn't matter. This is the Premier League run you are talking about. Winning the league, it takes one zero two one to win the league. Not five five zero. No, no, no. Winning the league takes. Winning the league takes one zero two one. And, and we've, we've we've shown it with the with the uh, uh, substitution that he made today. The, the player that he rested, this boy is delivered. The likes of Smith Rowe, wonderful performance, wonderful performance. This was the Smith Rowe we know. That's why we gave him that number 10, you know? So I was, I'm, I'm This is the Smith, Smith Rowe of lockdown. Yeah, you know, you know, you know, you know. You know. So I, I, I saw the game. I think a party. What do you, what do you have to say about what Pate did in the midfield uh, today in the absence of Declan Rice? Uh, it was an impressive performance by Thomas Pate, knowing that he was just coming back from injury, infused into the last match against City, and then... Coming to this match as the only uh, defensive midfielder, you know, was a clean job by him. He held on that whole midfield and then we saw the progress in the, in the midfield. Nice game, nice game. I'm hoping that our match against uh, Bayern Munich is going to be starting the, 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 the game for us. Okay. The first goal was called by your captain. Captain, fantastic. Uh, you know oh, what it guy. is now. The wonder kid. The wonder kid. The wonder is, kid. Is, is this a kid? It's not only a kid. This guy has shown to be the, is a wonderful man. Like, a great, a great man. I, I feel he's one of the uh, best attacking players in the Premier League. Racking of numbers. And sure, 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 sure. Like, Odegaard has shown that he's that quality. He's that... He's up there, up there. When you call the likes... Right, in, right now in the Premier League, when you call the likes of uh, Kevin De Bruyne, the next person should be Odegaard, for God's sake. Okay. It was an impressive game. The manager, right substitution, ESR, Emmy Smith, role. This is this one that we talked about in this game. Smith Rowe came on and he did the right job. Everything back to back, pam, 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 pam. It was a wonderful game. Wonderful game. The solid defense, Gabriel and, and Saliba. I, this was what I expected from them. As an outsider, I was expecting to see the likes of Vieira. I didn't, I don't, I don't understand the logic not being, uh, uh, not uh, allowing Vieira to play this kind of match. Yeah, yeah, I also expected that as well, but, you know, the coach is the coach now. Paul is going to try to fuse, fuse him in against Brighton. We still have another game. In the weekend, sixth of uh, uh, of April, so I, I believe that's where it's going to use him. But for me, this is the the right uh, lineup, the right uh, result was gotten. So that's all that matters for me right now. Uh, what I, what I want is to win the Premier League. So it's gradually, gradually, and we'll get to the final day. Okay. Ugo, if you if you look closely behind us, you can see that Man City are still playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Are leading as it stands, two uh, one. Yeah, that's why I'm actually supporting uh, Ever uh, Aston Villa as it stands. Uh, they, they they made they made a big mistake. That 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 uh, free kick shouldn't have flied. You know, you don't open up that wall like that. You don't open your wall like that. Now it wasn't the keeper's fault at all. The players should have shielded that ball. They quickly opened up, and but the game is still on, and then we are positive that we are going to see a draw in this game, so that I can, you know, remain top, and then hopefully if Allah wills it, you know, we are fasting for Inshallah, this. Baba. We are fasting for this. Inshallah, Baba. If God gives us this one, you know, that I'm the love for us. Okay, looking at uh, Liverpool, Sheffield United tomorrow. What are your hopes for that game tomorrow? Um, I would use the fact that Sheffield played uh, a wonderful game over the weekend, three-three with uh, Fulham. So, so I'm, I'm expecting something from them. They, they, they are a wonderful side, you know. Yes, they are the last on the, the table. That is why it is difficult to play them right now. The relegation battle. These guys will try to you know, show that they are the quality to remain in the Premier League. So I'm going to see a form of resistance from them against uh, Liverpool. So it's going to be an exciting uh, a midweek for, for, for football lovers. Okay, away from Luton today, they are playing Brighton. Yeah, yeah. Weekend. What are you expecting? Are you expecting the big boys to come back into the lineup? No, no, no. The likes of Rice, Dogu, and the rest. Are you expecting to stick to the same lineup? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He should stick to this uh, current uh, squad. In fact, I would even want him to drop Odegaard as a stand. Let him just switch up that meat a bit. Yes, probably, right, yes, probably try. Wait, hear me out. Probably try Pate and Jorginho just to see that then have, have ESR do the, the, the creativity in the midfield they get so that we could see the way they partner. But we have. It's, it's a short game. Man. We have about eight games in the Premier League. But that is a very long game for the teams we are meeting. We are meeting Chelsea, we are meeting Spurs, we are meeting Manchester United. And this is 
title contending game. So we have to preserve every good player we have now for the bigger matches. Yeah. But if I'm to ask you as an outsider, you should choose between the Champions League or the Premier League. Which one would you stick to? Don't do that to me right now. No, you stick. No, 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 no. I'm not doing that. I'm you not doing that. Too, right? I will pick the two. Uh, please, 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 please. All right. Thank you. thank you very I much. Thank you very much. Thank you. I wish you the best of luck in the coming. Thank you. And that is all you have heard it from the fan. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. God bless you.